Red Carpet event. Really? So I was just talking to some of the kids. They were talking about how uh, how amazing you are, first of all. Oh, thank you. And uh, they're saying that you know they're kind of hoping to be somewhat like you. That's a that's some big shoes to fill right there. Yeah, that's no, cool. those are pretty short, so it's going to take a while for them to fill those shoes. <laughs> no, but Jake, you've uh, actually had a great victory, an amazing knockout recently. So if you're the one that's coming up. You're the one to be. It seems like. Thank How you. does that make you feel? Feels good, you know. Feels good, but you, you can't get lost in the fog too. I mean, I really got to try to stay focused. Um, and really, for my goal, just become a world champ. I mean, you know, that's really the only reason I'm in this sport. Still, it's 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 much too hard of a lifestyle to just to like to fight. You know, it might be a reason why some of starts fighting, but to stay in it, you really got to have a goal. You know, minus to to become champion, and I can move on. Is as closer I get to that, the more discipline you got to be, the more focused you got to stay. So it's 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 all part of the plan. Right? Well, you're here tonight for Bad Beat Nine. Are you here to see someone specific fight? Yeah, I got a, I got a couple a uh, couple buddies fighting Nick Jordan. Um, I think he's the third fight tonight, and uh, Mikey Gomez. A couple guys from our gym down at the Rain Training Center. So up here supporting those guys. Now, being here, being that they have all these fighters here, um, a lot of people will consider Bama kind of the catalyst to get up to the UFC. So, how does it feel being here, being that you started at this level? Yeah, it, it's cool. It's cool to be a part of. Um, it's kind of cool to see the platform change too, you know, from when I started fighting to now. Um, but yeah, it, I see a lot of myself and a lot of these guys, you know, when I was a lot much younger. But, uh, it, it's cool to be able to also relate, you know, in the way from where I started and kind of, you know, kind of give some a little bit of leadership and perspective on what I've been through. You know. So it's, it's nice. And then going after tonight, whether Nick loses or wins, uh, hopefully wins, and we'll get an interview with him after the fight. Uh, do you see yourself kind of panning it in, like what they're going to learn from this one? Or are you going to are you the type of guy that just lets them learn on their own? Uh, well, Nick specifically, um, he's, he's got a lot of experience wrestling, so uh, he's not somebody you have to worry about a lot. I think he's got a, a real bright future ahead of him. Um, and really, he's, 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 he's lost, you know, he's, he's faced a lot of adversity, so you, you really learn a lot more through losing or, or, or failure. Uh, you do, you learn, you learn that part of it, but you actually also learn a lot more from that than you do winning. So winning's easy, you know what I mean? Succeeding is simple, but you know, it, but failure, you know, you learn a lot about yourself when you, when you lose or when you fail. So Nick's kind of been there, especially having wrestled, you know, everyone who's wrestled has been through a lot of, you know, adversity. That's what wrestling really is, it's just it's dealing with adversity head on. You know? And nope. the other guy, Mike Gomez, he, he was kind of a late call onto this yeah. card. Uh, he, it was originally going to be Keith Perry, but then Mike stepped in. That's right. What, did that change, like, the way he, was he already ready? Um, or did he have to, like, really put in an extra effort to, for this kind of late call? Well, you know, Mike, he's, Mike, he's a guy, too. He's, he's always been, he's been training for a while, so uh, he, he's, he was already ready. You know, he's been preparing and, and, and uh, ready to, you know, step in, no problem. Well, Jake, it was a pleasure meeting you, for one thing. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing the fight, especially with your teammates out there. Oh, and uh, we're about to get started, so we'll let you go, get to relax a little bit, and get situated inside. Sounds good. All right, thank, thank you. you.